Hello, pilots and engineers, Captain Shack here, and welcome back to Space Engineers. Check out what grabbed my attention this week on the workshop, the Lambda Class Shuttle. Designed originally by Sinyar Fleet Systems, this particular model was built by Space Engineer Fedeheld. Hope I said that right. The Lambda Class T4 Alpha Shuttle, known more generically as the Imperial Shuttle, is a multi-class transport using a trihedral folding foil design and put into service by the Galactic Empire during the Galactic Civil War. Equipped with a hyperdrive, the vessel could attain a max speed of 850 kilometers per hour and was one of the more common Imperial ships found in the galaxy. The Space Engineer's version seen here works totally unmodded but comes standard with the shield generator mod installed and the appropriate Star Wars weapon mods equipped. The nice thing about this build is that you can drop it into just about any world or build it in survival without the need for either mod installed. Though the Lambda can be flown with a single pilot, it does have space for co-pilot. Behind and under the bridge lies the working landing ramp, and beyond that a set of seats for the ground team of stormtroopers to sit in, or just the standard cargo area is in there. This vessel is capable of landing on any standard planet, and I've tested it on planets up to gravities as high as 5 Gs without any issue. At 9 Gs, she can still fly, but her hydrogen thrusters have to be active for sure, and the wings will not engage properly under that kind of stress. Of course, this wouldn't be a Lambda shuttle without working folding wings, and I really like how the builder created piston-driven landing gear and covering ports. All of this course is functional. As for her flight mechanics, she flies like you'd imagine an Imperial shuttle to fly. Slow, kinda plodding in the atmosphere, with an acceleration to match, but the profile nails the look of the craft it's inspired by. Sadly, you can't see through the cockpits as Space Engineers still doesn't have small ship glass panels. You'd have to mod them in. Overall, a fantastic build that works perfectly and seems to nail the proper scale. If you guys are unaware, I'm either getting ready right now to leave for the Star Wars convention, or I'm already there. I'm not sure when I'm gonna release this video. So, I thought I'd spotlight some awesome Star Wars builds by the community members, and this one was on the front page, and it is great. It just looks so good. If you enjoyed this quick spotlight, hit that thumbs up button for me. I do a, quite a bit of like modding, gaming, sci-fi stuff here on the channel, so if you're interested in that, hit that subscribe button. And as always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.